now they're still like 85% white, but uh, the pro- population projections are not are not good for them. Particularly if they keep up their their policies of being, you know, basically giving food and shelter to every Muslim that that manages yeah. to land on them. And uh, and yeah, so um, and the thing that's so maddening about that is that, um, and we we've probably touched on this before. Is that all the systems that were set up by uh, these countries to serve their own people are being perverted and turned against them to serve aliens and strangers and and are not actually able to be accessed by the native people. I mean, we've we've all known in the United States for – and maybe we can't really understand that being Americans because we've all known that the social safety net – as Americans, it doesn't apply to us, right? Like it doesn't, yeah. it, it doesn't apply to white people. None of us, no. none of us expect that we're going to get gov- significant government benefits. Um, none of us expect that we could ever, you know, get uh, welfare or, 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 or we don't know that we want to, but it's just, we don't expect it. And, and, um, and we wouldn't even really know how to access it if we needed it. Like, I don't know how to go. No. And get you, need a different, you need a different set of entrepreneurial skills to be able to navigate that system and be able to game it <laughs> that we just don't have. I mean, if you have any kind of entrepreneurial spirit, it's to, you know, make something out of nothing and, and keep doing it over and over again. It's, yeah. You don't have a way to say, all right, I will approach this bureaucracy and I will deceptively fill these forms out in such a way that, you know, will maximize my benefits. Yeah, and even and, then they don't even have the agency for that. They have people that teach them how to well, do that. Well, people that help them do it, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, yeah. The, yeah. that's probably that's the an app. Part. It's called the social work, like it's, the whole social yeah. work industry, basically. Yeah, right. It's, it's designed it's, to do that. So. It's young yeah, and if you and if you go there, and if you go there, and if you go there, they'll tell you, "What like, this system isn't for you." Like I had a friend that they actually said that to him. When <laughs> oh, there, he there, there have been people that have been very open about the fact that this system is not. This isn't for you. People. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, like, I think for us, like, like I was saying, for us being Americans. And we kind of always had this assumption, like, okay, yeah, like, and that's why the, you know, it's very easy, relatively easy to rally most white people in the United States against like social welfare and stuff. And I think that's kind of a split that we've seen between Americans and Europeans, or Americans have this, you know, white people at least have this like negative view of welfare, and it's like, oh, welfare, you know, whatever. And, and Europeans tend to be more in favor of it because they, for a very long time, benefited and expected to benefit from the social programs of their country. But now they're going to start becoming like us, where they're going to be cynical and anti social welfare because they know anything that white people are paying into the commons is just rent sought away by all of these, you know, that are just coming in to take all mm-hmm. of these, to take them programs. Right? Crickets. <laughs> it's been all well, about them programs here. And now it's going to be start becoming about them programs over there. When for, you know, Previous years, like in Scandinavia and Germany, the people of those countries just enjoyed the them programs for themselves. Well, it is no longer the previous year, yeah, Mr. Yeah, Enoch. So you have to keep that in mind. 